Commanders fans, and happy Friday. Some good news here. Um, Eric Bannemi and the Commanders have mutual interest. This is per multiple people. Jordan Schultz, Ian Rappaport, Darren Haynes. Um, there's positive momentum towards Eric Bieniemy becoming the Commanders offensive coordinator. I'm just going to put this video out now. Um, I don't have a lot of time later today or tonight to put out a video. I think they're going to hire him tonight. Now, they did take him to a restaurant. I heard he ate dinner with Ron. So they probably went to DC Prime. I know Dan Snyder loves that restaurant. Also, per Darren Haynes, um, Dan Snyder flew Jason Wright into DC um, just to meet with um, Eric Bieniemy, just because Eric and Jason are from the same area in, in California in high schools are literally 13 miles apart. So they're putting the full court press. And when, when Dan Snyder or Ron Rivera, this is the thing, when Dan really wants a player or a coach, he does he he works hard to get him. That's one thing I'll give Dan Snyder a little bit of credit for. I know he's about to sell the team and all that. But that's the one thing I'll say about Dan before he's gone. Uh, of course, I'm happy that he'll be gone. But when Dan Snyder really does want somebody, he he, he gets him. And, and Ron Rivera too. So um, we'll see. But before I get started about Eric B uh make sure you guys check out Vigit. It's a free uh, sports betting fantasy league. I created for you guys. The winner gets a free jersey. Aaron right now is in first place. I think I'm in second. Of course, I'm not going to win a jersey. But the link's down below to sign up. Um, also, of course, prize picks. Make sure you guys sign up for prize picks. That's a, a betting uh, fantasy app as well. Um, sports props, over-unders, all kinds of stuff. Super easy. NHL, NBA, college basketball, all kinds of stuff. I uh, use my promo code Real Ed Oliver. Use the link down below in the description. 100% deposit match Real Ed Oliver. So I think it's, it's, it's going to be a good hire. Um, Eric Bieniemy, of course. I just don't like how he's had to make this move. And yes, it is a louder move. I think it's it honestly it's a downgrade. You're going from Pat Mahomes, and I'm a big fan of Sam Howell. You're going from Pat Mahomes to Sam Howell. You look at all the the Chiefs offensive line who didn't give up a sack in the Super Bowl going to our offensive line. Of course, they're going to upgrade this offensive line. Uh, and, and I'm a big fan of Sam Howell. I think Sam Howell is going to be a, a, a solid quarterback in this league. But going from Pat Mahomes to to to, to a, a quarterback who barely who only started one game. Um, and, and going to the situation coming from the Chiefs, he, he's he should be a head coach, man. Let's just keep it real. Let's keep it honest, man. He's won two Super Bowls, went to three Super Bowls, was offensive coordinator of the year in 2020, um, was there with Alex Smith when they had success under Andy Reid. So this is just ridiculous that he has to do all this and, and, and jump through hoops and loops and uh, do backflips just to show that he can be a head coach. He literally just beat Stan, Stan Steichen and just beat Jonathan Gannon, the defensive coordinator, who he just cooked in the red zone. Andy Reid said that Eric Bieniemy was calling the plays in the red zone. The corn dog played a, a Sky Moore. The play to Kadarius Tony, Andy Reid, Pat Mahomes. Everybody on the Chiefs said that that San, uh, uh, Eric Bieniemy called up these plays during the week. During the week. I think it was like Friday or something like that. Even Chad Henney, the backup quarterback, said Eric Bieniemy was the guy who called those plays. Who called those plays and designed those plays in the red zone to get those two easy touchdowns to basically put them in the lead to win that game. And he still can't get a head coaching job. But the guys he beat get head coaching jobs. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I get it, all the, the interview stuff. I'm just not into that. I, I don't agree with that. Um, the play calling stuff. Doug Peterson didn't call plays under Andy Reid. Matt Nagy didn't call play, plays under Andy Reid. There's many coaches. Joe Judge didn't call plays. Um, Josh McDaniels can get numerous head coaching jobs. Jeff, Jeff Saturday can get a job in, a, in, a, in, a, in the NFL as a head coach. Um, Adam Gase. Had multiple opportunities to get a head coaching job. Uh, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous that this guy can't get a head coaching job. It, it makes zero sense to me that they, he has to do this just to get a head coaching job. So I just had to get that off my chest. I think it's just unfair to Eric B. Enemy. Um, and I, 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 I'm not going to make it a race thing or anything like because we've seen you know minority head coaches get jobs all the time. Brian Flores, um, had, you know, had a job. You know, Mike Tomlin, um, of course. You know, um, Anthony Lynn was a coach. Um, there, there's so many black coaches in this in this league for sure, but um, I, I think it's Todd Bowles. It, it's, but it's ridiculous that Eric Bieniemy has to do all this just to show that he can be, be a head coach. It, it makes zero sense to me. Um, so I, I think it's a good hire. Greg Roman was the other option. You know, he he's a he's going to run the football. He would have ran the football a lot, of course. But Eric Bieniemy, he he was a running back in the league. He was a running backs coach. Um, so I think he fits what Ron is looking for because they want to run the football a lot. Um, of course, they threw the ball out with, with Pat Mahomes because he's just an elite quarterback. But make, make no mistakes, the Chiefs were able to run the football, too, with Isaiah Pacheco. Now, the pros, of course, running back running backs coach, I think, is going to be able to relate with Brian Robinson to get the best out of them, the best out of Antonio Gibson. He coached Adrian Peterson with the Vikings. Um, he was able to get the best out of Adrian Peterson, for sure. Adrian Peterson has nothing but good things to say about Eric Bieniemy. Um, he said he's a very detailed guy, makes them take notes, all kinds of stuff, very detailed stuff. He quizzes them a lot, so... Uh, Paul Richardson as well. When he was a skin, he said nothing but good things about Eric Bieniemy. When he was at Colorado, he's just a very old school kind of guy. Wants to run the football a lot. 
a lot of attention to detail and a lot of note taking. Um, Albert Breer also. So, I mean, this is a two day interview. So Ron Rivera waited all this time for Eric Bieniemy to be available. Um, Albert Breer, Breer said that Eric Bieniemy is in the building now, dressed more casually than he was on Thursday for this inter for his interview and meeting with front office folks. As we said earlier, today's more about what his offensive staff would look like in the contract. Lots of people there assuming this gets done. So positive news and positive attraction. They're even talking about what kind of clothes he's got on. You know, who cares? But, you know, Albert Breer just, you know, made it known that he's he's casually dressed. Um, it looks like that he is going to be the offensive coordinator. So this is a this is a this is a pretty big hire. This is probably the most popular offensive coordinator hire that I've ever seen in my life. This is getting a lot of publicity. Um, and and Sean, was it Ben Albright or I think it was Ben Albright. He was on the Big Doug show. He had this first. And when I first heard the rumor when he said it back when we fired Scott Turner, I didn't believe it. I didn't believe he was going to take this job. But all the jobs have been taken up. Andy Reid and, and Ben Albright also said that they were trying to push him out the door. He had a one year contract. So Andy Reid has been pumping up Airbnb, of course, supporting him. But it, it's just weird that, you know, he, he's signing a one year deal. I don't know why he would do that. I don't I know uh, there's rumors that he that Andy Reid wants to promote Matt Nagy. Uh, but I guess, you know, all the jobs have been gone. He interviewed with the Colts. Uh, but it is interesting that, you know, Ben Albright said they're trying to push him out of the door. So I, I just don't know why they would want to do that. I think Andy Reid is just ready for Eric Bieniemy to move on and get a head coaching job. But he just wasn't able to do that. Um, and Andy Reid, I guess he knows that the, the NFL owners and co or owners are just thinking that they want to see him do it without Andy, without Andy Reid, without Pat Mahomes, which I think is just ridiculous. I think it's complete nonsense, in my opinion. I really do. I think I think it's just a bunch of nonsense. Um but I do think it's a good hire. It's a good hire. It's an uphill battle because this could be a one-year deal. Um, as Sean Payton said that, you know, he, potential owners were reaching out to him to be the head coach. So we know this is a one-year lame duck situation for Ron Rivera. It's an uphill battle for Ron. I don't see him being here next year. And I, I'm just not a believer in Ron Rivera at all. I'm just not a believer in Ron Rivera. So also, Darren Haynes also said that uh, one source said that, uh, Eric Bieniemy is the real deal. He said, "I'm hearing nothing but positive things about Eric Bieniemy's interview." One source says Bieniemy is the real deal. Um, what's the other stuff that Darren Hayes said? He says, "Moving in the right spot." Um, they're getting an in-depth feel for where things are and how he would lead. Meeting with st various staff to get an in-depth feel for where things are and how he would lead as well. So, um, you know, and the knock on Bieniemy is that you know he's a, he's, he's abrasive with players. He's a perfectionist. He wants the best out of everybody, just like every other coach does. Um, we saw him get an argument with, with Pat Mahomes. I don't take any negative stock in that because, you know, we've seen players, give, you know, argue with coaches on the side. We've, we've seen Tom Brady yell at his offensive coordinator before. We've seen that happen many a times before. Um, you know, Shady McCoy, LaShawn McCoy, you know, he had his things to say about um, Eric Bieniemy saying, you know, the way that he talks to him, all he does is yell at players. So we'll see. I mean, he's going to be dealing with Sam Howell as his quarterback one for the for. I think for the for the possibility, I think most likely Sam Howell will be quarterback one. So he does have to know how to get the best out of Sam Howell. You know, how do you approach Sam Howell? I know, I know Sam probably could take coach tough coaching for sure, but you know, it's a new generation. It's a different kind of guy. So how, how is his relationship going to be um, with Sam Howell for sure? So, um, and this is from the honest NFL as well. He said some good things about Eric Bieniemy. He said every single one of those drives Mahomes put together this year, they were soft scripted by Eric Bieniemy and Andy together. He gives Andy Reid the charting info between drives. He sets it up. They go through everything together so that anyone could call it just like every good staff does. You can ask any officer coordinator who's worked with Andy Reid how they learn the finer points of calling plays, and every single one of them will say it came from Andy, allowing them to relay calls like he did from Mike Holmgren. It's the greatest matter, master class possible in football. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we'll look at uh, Eric Bieniemy's history here, and then uh, we'll wrap it up here. Um, just look at his Wikipedia, where he was. He was a coach at Colorado. He was a uh, running back in the NFL as well. He played for the San Diego Chargers in 1991 to 1994, played for the Bengals from 95 to 98, and he played for the Eagles in 1999. Um, his early coaching career, he uh, coached at Colorado. Um, he was in the UC, he, uh, coach for UCLA for a couple of years as well. Um, and then in 2020, Colorado actually offered him a head coaching job, but he did decline that. He was the offensive coordinator for Colorado in 2010. Uh, the Vikings, he was the running backs coach and a leading rusher. It was Adrian Peterson, led the, led the NFC in rushing with 1,341 yards in 2007. And also in 2008 with 1,760 yards. Um, under under um, under Eric Bieniemy, Pat Mahomes became the second quarterback in NFL history along with Peyton Manning to throw for 5,000 yards and 50 touchdowns. Uh, Bieniemy, of course, won the Super Bowl. 
uh, beating the 49ers and won the second Super Bowl a couple days ago against the night against the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. So of course you know the numbers. The Chiefs have had an awesome offense uh, under Andy Reid, under Eric Bieniemy with Pat Mahomes. Even with Alex Smith, they made it work too. You know they were able to run the football with him. Um, and, and just one thing he will have, he'll have a great group of wide receivers. He's going to have good running backs. We just have to get this offensive line together. Terry, Jahan, Curtis, even Deami. I like Deami too. I think Deami's talented. I love the two passes that he had against the Titans. Um, we just got to get a tight end here. In here, we have to get a tight end here. We got. We have to get an upgrade at the tight end position. And we have to sure up this offensive line. We have to sure up this offensive line. So it's an uphill battle. Like I said, I'm just not a big fan of Ron Rivera. I think he's an eight, eight and one coach, a seven and ten kind of coach. Um, but we've seen guys come through here who we've had, who have had, unfortunately, losing seasons. You know, Sean McVay came through here. He was, he became a head coach. Uh, we've seen Kevin O'Connell came in, came through here, but he had to go to the Vikings and then he became a head, and, I mean, to the Rams and then he, he became a head coach. Matt LaFleur, we've seen a lot of guys be in this organization uh, from previous years. It doesn't matter to here, but um, like I said, I mean, you saw Marvin Lewis, he made a lateral move and then he became a head coach under Steve Spurrier. He was a defensive coordinator then, but he became a head coach. But I, I think it's a solid hire. I do think it's a solid hire. It's very intriguing. Um, it's kind of a, I wouldn't say boom or bust, but it's a big question mark um, because, you know, we haven't seen it under, under Andy Reid. So we'll see how this works works out with lesser talent, with a lesser, with lesser talent at the quarterback spot and lesser talent at the, at the offensive line. But you do have better wide receiver play and you have better, I would say better running backs. Isaiah Pacheco is a really good running back, but I think weaponry he has a better he has better weapons than what he had in KC, but he just had an elite MVP caliber quarterback, Pat Mahomes. So, all right, you guys, you guys, let me know what you guys think, man. I, I think it's a solid hire. If there's anything I wanted to bring up here, man, um, yeah, I mean, I, I just I feel like he should be a head coach, but I'm 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 very happy. I'm happy with the hire. I'm happy with the hire. I'm intrigued to see how this goes. Um, but like I said, I, I, it doesn't really matter to me, unfortunately, because Ron Rivera is still the head coach, and I, I just don't see this team going anywhere. And it really, honestly, it is a lame duck. I hate to be negative, but it's a lame duck season. And it's a new owner coming in, and none of these owners are going to want Ron Rivera back. If I was a new owner, I wouldn't want Ron Rivera to be my head coach either, to be honest with you. So, all right, you guys, it looks like there's mutual interest. Probably by the time I put up this video in a couple hours, I think he will be hired as the offensive coordinator. We're going to see if there's a press conference or anything like this. This probably is the most hyped up offensive coordinator hiring I've seen in my life before, but I, I think it's a good hiring. All right, you guys, Healthy Commanders, peace.